what's up? Today I'm doing, yes, you probably guessed it, another story time, but you guys are requesting them and I'm just over here like, okay, I gotta give the people what they want. If you watched my last video, you saw that I had a technical difficulty and that is my camera completely, I thought, stopped working and I had like a 070 error or whatever. And of course I'm not really familiar with the Canon cameras, so I thought like it was my computer and I said it bit the dust. But no, it was the memory card, and that's why the video ended abruptly like it did. Like, you guys were like, what's the rest? Tell us the rest of the story. But um, I put in the comment section the rest of what happened. There were only like two minutes left that the um, the memory card cut out. So, um, yeah, wasn't anything too big of a deal. So. so, I asked you guys on Twitter what you wanted to hear from me and you guys wanted to hear about the youtuber that sent me nudes and no this is not clickbait this is for real <laughs> of course i'm not going to give you the guy's name because i really don't want a lawsuit so we're just not going to name him but i am going to tell you that he is a youtuber and he goes to like all of the vans warp tour type stuff and that's pretty much all I'm going to give you. <laughs> so this happened like a couple of years ago. This was before like anything happened with me with uh, social media. I had no part in YouTube. I had no part in Instagram. Like nothing. Like I had like 300 followers on my Instagram. And that was like all my friends at the time. So I used to and still do watch so many YouTube videos. I had so many people that I looked up to. Um, that would make me laugh whenever I was down and just would perk up my mood. So YouTube has always been a go-to for me. I've always dreamed of filming YouTube videos. And Here I am. Yeah, back then I just watched people and I never thought that they would see me, you know? Like they had so many fans and so many people watching their videos. What are the odds that any of them would see me, you know? So to the guy that we're talking about in the story, I was already subscribed to him on YouTube. And I noticed that I wasn't following him on Instagram, so I was just like, oh, well, you know what, why not? Because I went and looked at his pictures, and I liked his pictures, and I followed him on there. And I think I went through and like liked like three pictures or something like that. And he got like 3,000 likes or something like that at the time. I, I never thought that this was going to happen. But, not even kidding, a few minutes later, after liking this guy's pictures, he liked one of mine. And of course, you could say I was a fangirl, but I freaked out. Like, just picture somebody that you watch on YouTube, you like so much, you look up to them, you never think for one second that they would notice you. He noticed me. He liked one of my pictures, and of course I was like jumping up and down like, oh my god! so happy I texted one of my best friends her name is Melissa you guys have probably seen her on my Instagram and I texted her and I was like oh my god he liked one of the pictures and she didn't know who he was at the time and I just like sent her a link of one of his videos and she was like oh wow you know you're lucky like that's awesome so yeah I was just on top of the world that day I didn't have my Instagram notifications on at that time in my life and I remember clicking on Instagram and looking at my pictures and noticing I had a comment. Whenever I got a comment, it was really weird just because I never, like, got comments like that. So I checked my comment and it was from him! Again, I was freaking out because he liked my picture. I went back and he commented on one of my pictures. And he told me to add him on Instagram. I was just so... <laughs> just... Like, he was trying to talk to me, like, and I kept going back to his Instagram, like, is this really his Instagram? Is this a fake? No, it wasn't a fake because he had, like, thousands and thousands of followers, and I was just like, no way, this is fake. I called my best friend, Melissa, and I was like, oh my god, he commented on my pictures, told me to add him on Facebook, and then I remember later that evening, I drove up to her house, but just because, you know, whenever you're dealing with stuff like this, you don't want to do it alone, you need to have a friend, so I needed my best friend with me. I remember I went to her house, I logged onto my Facebook on her computer, and I searched him on Facebook, and I added him, I just remember there were like a couple of fake ones, fake profiles. I just couldn't decipher which one was actually his. So I picked the one 
that looked like the most legit. And I was like, hey, is this the, the, the blank, not going to say the name. I was waiting for a message and I didn't expect to get one back. And he finally messaged back and said, he finally messaged me back and sent me to this weird link. And I was really scared to click it just because, you know, it could have been a virus or something. I had no idea. But I clicked it anyways because I was like, okay, this isn't my computer anyways. So whatever. <laughs> it's so mean, I know. But I clicked it and... It's, it was so weird what he sent me to. I think it was like some Tumblr link and it said something like, I love to grab the booty or it was something so weird. And it had like weird cats dancing around. Like it was so weird. I had no idea. I was like, oh my God, I've been pranked. He responds back and he's like, yeah, this is me. And I was like, oh, hi, cool. And he was like, did you click the link that I sent you? And I was like, yeah, funny, haha, -ha, like, even though like deep down I was just like it was kind of weird. But we started talking on Facebook and he started asking me questions like where are you from? What do you do? You know like your basic questions getting to know somebody. Like, I didn't really know what to ask him because like his life is on the internet. Like I kind of know some of his life. Like I know where he lives. I know all of his basic information just because he's on the internet. So what do I even ask him? Like, I don't know. Do I play it dumb? Like, I don't watch his videos? Like, I don't know what to do. Like, there was so many unanswered questions that I had no idea the answer to. So, I tried to play it as cool as I could. And I knew where he lived. So, I was just like, oh, yeah, you live in blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to say where he lives because I'm just so scared it's going to give it away. He asked me if I watched his videos and I was like, yeah, I've, I've watched a couple even though I've watched all of them. But we talked for a few more minutes and then he finally asked me for my number and I was literally like, I was so freaking happy. I was like, is this really happening? Like freaking pinch me. Like, is this really happening? I was so happy. I was already planning a wedding, what I was going to name our babies. I was just like, oh, they're going to be so cute. Like, you know, I was like that type of fangirl. So we texted until like the conversation kind of got boring and there was really nothing more to say. I thought it was like over from there. I was like, yeah, this is probably like the only day I'll ever talk to him. And because I'm sure he has so many girls that are talking to him as well. I'm probably not the only one. I don't know. I just thought that I would never speak to him again. I was actually wrong. <laughs> the next day, he texts me first and I was just even more excited that he texts me first. He's interested in me. He's actually interested in me. This is so great. He texted me and he's just like, you know, hey, what's up? And I'm just like, oh, um, hi, like, <laughs> what are you doing? Like, just trying to think of like some random stuff to say. And the conversation kind of got uncomfortable to me because he was saying stuff like, oh, I would love to cuddle with you right now. I just thought that was like really fast, him saying that he wanted to cuddle with me. So I didn't really know what to say. I didn't really want to make him mad. I didn't want him to think I was weird. I was just like, oh yeah, that would be so nice. I mean, I didn't really know what to say. He kept going with it like, oh, snuggling with you would be so nice. Like, still, like it's so weird. Like he kept talking about it. He was like, I would love to kiss you on the cheek. I had butterflies slash just a weird odd feeling because that was like so fast. I just talked to him the day before. What the heck is making you say this? He continued to talk to me about how he was going on Warp Tour. And if you don't know what Warp Tour is, it's like this huge uh, music festival. And I've always wanted to go, but my mom was like really super strict back then and wouldn't really let me like go out of the state. And in order for me to even go to Warp Tour, I would have to drive hours and hours. He was asking me if I was going to go and I was just like, oh, I don't know. And he was going on the actual tour, like Warp Tour was bringing him and who, his friends with them. And uh, he they had like a boots and stuff set up. So... Um, he was just like, we, are you going to be at one of them? And of course I said, you know, oh, probably, even though I'm like the strictest mom in America, she ain't going to let me. But at the time I was just like talking like, oh, you never know, she might. Saying, you know, if you go, that would be awesome. I'm going to be at these dates. And he told me like the locations and then he was like, I would love for you to come on the tour with me. And then I was just like, hold up, wait a minute, rewind. 
What? You want me to go on tour with you? Like this, it was moving so fast already. I was like, I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to say because he like wanted to kiss me, snuggle with me, cuddle with me. Now he wants me to go on tour with him. I was just like, what? YouTubers are weird. Out of excitement, like think of it. Somebody that you watch on YouTube, you like, can't believe that they're talking to you, tells you that they want you to come on tour with them. What would you do? What would you say? Would you be like, oh, heck yes, or oh no, I don't know you. Me, I was like, oh my god, yes, I would love to. So I was like, yeah, I could seriously like come and pick you up and take you to where I live, and I'm just like, huh? Like, he would drive to get me, to take me on tour with him, and I don't know. I didn't even know what to say to that. I was just seriously excited that he was, like, wanting to do something with me like that. And he goes back to, like, the cuddling talk, and I'm feeling really uncomfortable. Like, no, I don't want to do that with you. I don't even know you like that, even though, like, I think you're cute. But I wouldn't really want to cuddle with you right now. I just don't know you like that. And he started talking about stuff like that, again, bringing it up, I kind of like swerve away from that conversation and try to talk about something else and he just didn't act interested. So finally, our conversation just ended again on just a boring note, you know, we got tired of talking, I guess you would say. So like later that night, I get a text message from him and it's a picture. <laughs> and the picture was of him and like just his lips, like literally here, just to here. And the person that I am, I'm not thinking, oh, he's, he's so cute. He's trying to look good for me. And look, no, I'm just over here like, <laughs> oh my God, what just came out of me? Anyways, I laughed my butt off at that picture that he sent me because he was like puckering them like this, like sticking them out. I'm sure he was trying to look hot, but I'm sorry. I'm like a really comedic person and I didn't think that was hot. I thought it was funny. But I'm just like, oh, cute. And he was like, send me a picture of you. And I just sent him a picture of like, you know, me looking cute, smiling and whatever. And it was really late at night, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned that. It was like 11 o'clock at night. But he sends me another picture. And it's a picture of him with his shirt off, but it's of his lips to his like belly button. And in the picture before that he sent me with like the, uh, the lips, he had a shirt on. So he purposely took his shirt off for the next picture he was sending me. And I saw that and I was just thinking, oh god, no, please. So I know what he's trying to do and I'm like praying, please, no, don't, don't let it go this direction, please. And I'm like sitting here thinking, okay, what do I do? I'm like twiddling my thumbs, like sitting there thinking like, what do I say? I don't want him like to stop talking to me. I don't want him to think I'm weird. I don't want him to not like me. I'm sitting here thinking of all these things whenever he's like being super pushy. While I'm thinking, my phone goes on sleep mode. And then I get a text message from him and I noticed that it says attachment image one or whatever it says whenever you get a photo and I was like please no don't let that be it don't let it be what I think it is because I figured he was just going to keep going lower he started at his lips he's at his stomach what's next <laughs> I'm like literally holding my phone and I'm like squinting my eyes and I'm like this is exactly what I'm doing I'm like quickly like like opening it up I'm like oh god oh god I'm not looking at it I'm like oh god oh god oh god and I'm like <laughs> literally screaming like that because my mom and dad was asleep at that time because they went to bed like at 9 p.m. every single night <laughs> like screaming my head off because oh my god I was like please I'm not ready to see this part of you I am like probably the best person in the world because I could have seriously exposed this guy but instead being the little scaredy baby I was I literally like hurried and like 
was still squinting my eyes. Edit it, delete, like get out of here. I deleted it and soon after I blocked his number, I saw like a smidgy bit of it because I was trying my best. I was like covering it up, trying my best not to see it. I don't want to see that. I didn't want to look at it because I look at him in such a different way. I don't look at him like, oh yeah. I look at him as, oh yeah. So I block his number. I delete him off Facebook and I unfollow him on Instagram. I completely stopped talking to this guy just because he was super pushy. Like, I didn't understand what he wanted out of it at the time. Now I know what he wanted out of it. He wanted a little sexting buddy. Still subscribed to him on YouTube. I just didn't think to go to YouTube and unsubscribe to him. And it was like a couple of days later. And I noticed he posts a video and it's with a girl. And I watched it because they're like hugging in the video and I'm just like, hmm, curious. So I click on it, I watch it, and in the video, I was pretty sure that was his girlfriend. So I went to his Instagram and I saw that he posted a picture of him and a girl together and in the caption it read you know I'm, I'm so happy that we've been together for this past year <laughs> what <laughs> year what forgot to tell you he told me that he has been single for a very long time i was just so disgusted at him i couldn't believe that he had a girlfriend just because of the way he was talking to me i would have never have guessed that he had a girlfriend i wanted so bad to text her or dm her on instagram and be like hey um yeah, your boyfriend wants to snuggle me and he also sent me nudes. I didn't because, you know, I'm a kind person. I just forgot it. I was just like, you know what? This is a scumbag. If hopefully she finds out. I should have told her just because, you know, I'm that kind of girl. Like, girl, I got you back. Like, you know, I'll tell you anything you want. Like, I'm just that type of person. But I was just like, you know what? It's not even worth it. He probably does it to her all the time anyway. So... She probably already knows. I don't, I'm not subscribed to him on YouTube anymore. I don't follow him on anything. Sometimes I see like people retweeting his stuff on Twitter and it like pops up on my timeline. And I'm just like, ah, oh, that's the time um, a YouTuber sent me nudes. So obviously the story has a meaning behind it. And I'm sure all of you guys have heard about some of the disgusting guy YouTubers that have just taken advantage of girls and... Um, they've got away with it just because of who they are. And they are people out there that will take advantage of your fangirl. Um, if they see that you like them enough, they know that they can get you to do anything. That's just really sucky. So I've been that girl. I've been that girl that has been a fangirl of someone. And they were trying to be inappropriate with me. And I was too scared to say anything to them because I didn't want to hurt their feelings. I didn't want them to not talk to me because I watch their YouTube videos. How weird is it going to be that I'm sitting there watching them knowing that they don't like me. Like, it's a sucky feeling. I don't watch him anymore and I think his videos suck now, so whatever. So if this ever happens to you, if you have somebody talk to you with, with anybody, not just YouTube people, anybody you look up to and they're like taking advantage of you, please, please be smart. Don't get too excited because they really might be a frick boy. I don't like saying the F word on my channel just because I got kids on here, so. Okay, guys, so that's all I got for you today. Thank you guys so much for all your support. I have gained so many more supporters lately. It's outrageous. I try to talk to you all. I try to do things to talk to you all, so I hope you guys recognize that. Anyways, um, there'll be a new story time video next week, so if you want, turn on my post notifications so you'll know when. But I love you guys so much. Like, please like, and subscribe to my channel. Bye, guys.